Welcome to the second topic in this series in which we're going to look at decomposition. Compared to the previous topic, this one's very easy. Only two specification points and really the first one isn't really something I can kind of talk about, revise, teach, whatever you want to call it. Um, really it's just analysing a problem which is to be fair what decomposition partially is. Investigating requirements, this is looking at what the inputs, outputs are going to be, what processes need to be done. And initialization and programming is kind of the initial values that are assigned to things like variables and constants. So this is all about you, I guess mainly in your controlled assessment and maybe in the slimmest chance in the exam having to just analyze and talk about these things but I don't think that requires too much effort but decomposition is maybe a term you're not familiar with or you need to revise so we'll do that now so decomposition is breaking down a problem into smaller more manageable sub problems you could probably guess by the name but we the ways decomposition can be done well is you want each sub problem to be of a similar level of detail so to be <laughs> I um this so our problem here is the economy and I've broken it down into a few kind of indicators of how well the economy is doing the fact that this took me so long to make is why it's included it's not the greatest of example because it's probably near impossible to decompose well whereas here in this box we're talking about sort of what you can do to be good at decomposition so really yeah we're breaking down each of the sub problems to a similar level of detail so these are meant to be similar and the problem should be divided that they can be solved independently so yeah here we look so you'd look at each of them independently although in economics is not as straightforward as that so that's why it's not a very good example but the point is at the end all the solutions to each sub problem need to be combined so that the solution to the whole problem can be found so those are the kind of three steps that should really be met if you want to be good at this I mean decomposition you don't have to necessarily know the term to use it it's quite obvious that to often solve difficult problems you have to break it down first but this is really looking at a quite a formal problem solving technique and you know potentially could be asked about it in the exam let alone have to use it. So if we just sort of look at advantages and disadvantages, I'm kind of planning for what a potential exam question could be about. So an advantage of doing decomposition is that different people can work on different sub-problems at the same time. So instead of just one problem where you're trying to get lots of people to work on it without much kind of order, if you plan it and assign someone to solve this thing and then this element can be solved by someone else, that may increase productivity. It may be more effective for you. Uh, also, you may be able to actually compute it in parallel. Some of the you can often the sub problems can often be solved in parallel, which can save time. And disadvantages you have to understand the problem well. Whereas the economy, there's so many factors that it's probably quite difficult. So you really got to make sure that all of the components are included. You don't want to divide it up and then try and combine it and there's just something that's missing and it's not working because you haven't really understood what you're doing and finally it cannot it can be difficult because it's not an easy thing to do it's easier said than done you know I can talk about it here splitting a problem up and just combining the solutions at the end but they might not work you might solve lots of things very in high amounts of detail and actually at the end the actual final solution isn't very good so actually that's it for this topic very straightforward the next video is not too bad i don't think uh, and it's maybe slightly more interesting so yeah thanks a lot for watching